Dawn. I'm Kat. And I'm Faith. Welcome to Gender Rebels TV. Yeah. Hey Faith, I got a question. Sure, what's your question? We are covered with fur and sometimes we don't want to be. Can you give our viewers some basic hair removal tips? Oh my gosh, for cross-dressers, male to female, trans people, people who just want less hair, which is everyone. Oh my gosh, there's Not like, female to male. Cross not female to male, no, mm. they want more hair. Which is a whole other episode, theory, we're gonna do that too, in theory. It's cool. But, um, let's say all of them do, but I would, I would guess. But anyway, point being, there's a few ways to get rid of hair. Uh, they range from the easy over-the-counter, so to speak, to the incredibly complicated, uh, technological, and painful. And they actually increase in pain, I think, as they get more effective. More effective, more pain, more expensive? Yeah, I think mm. that's actually the case. Mm. So, okay, there's a couple things. Cool. First and most basic, shaving. Shaving! Shaving. So easy. Yeah, so if you're a, uh, a Robin Williams, Sean Connery type mm. of guy, covered in fur, and you want to present female, you're going to need to get rid of your fur. So first thing you want to do, I would say, is don't try the razor and the shaving cream on that. Don't do that first. Oh. Get some clippers. Get, get, get oh. some clippers and shave, the, shave that all off with the clippers. So get it short. Yeah. And then shave them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before I transition, because the clippers aren't going to yeah. be like baby smooth. No, right? no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, before I transitioned, I had uh, an unacceptable amount of hair, and I would clipper it mm. and then shave it with mm. a shaving cream and a razor. Now, there's no difference between men's razors, women's razors, and men's shaving cream, women's shaving cream. Zero. Um, okay, there are minor differences, and we'll go over those now. Okay. Shaving creams, it's just different scents. It's the same stuff. So you smell like fruit or like sport outdoors? Yeah, I still buy the women's stuff even though it's slightly more expensive. That's the I other big like, difference is it's more expensive. Yeah, I want to smell like berries and not like sport outdoors. Sports soap. Um, the women's razors, sometimes they have like the little, like a flatter surface, even though it's the same blades, they'll have like mm. a flatter surface, which is better for wide open areas. As opposed to like carving very yeah. small detailed areas. So I actually buy the women's razors, uh, so do you. Mm. You don't use shaving cream, or do you, do you secretly use my shaving cream? I use I soap, I use cheap conditioner, okay. all, all, all are good options that yeah. still smell girly. Um, and occasionally I will steal your shaving cream, yes. Okay, yeah, I actually will, uh, yeah. Sometimes so, the lady razors have that moisture strip. I don't know yeah. if that makes a difference. I don't know if that makes a difference either, but I do like I do like using them. Um, but you can go bare bones, you know, yeah. generic plastic Bic male shavers and cheapest shaving yeah, cream. Yeah, depending on the thickness of your Salt. hair. There's one big issue with shaving though, is sometimes you can shave too close. Uh, I know specifically for me, this used to be on my upper legs, and it would be, hair would go ingrown. So you'd shave your hair too much, it would start growing like underneath. It would come back and it grow, curls like, in over and, and, and get yeah. infected, and you end up with all these little red bumps. There are a million products that, that say they are going to prevent this or fix this. None of them work. They're all a waste of time. You just have to shave less closely. Okay. So up from up from shaving, next you have waxing. Yeah. <laughs> now I've done waxing on my brows, and I go to a place to get it done, and that's the thing. You can buy home waxing kits and you like microwave the little mm -hmm. a little jar of wax and then they come with these little strips. I've used that once and I made a gigantic mess and it was awful. It's tricky for a number of reasons. Short version, go to a salon. Yeah, uh, definitely go to a salon. I get my eyebrows waxed and it's like, boom, 10 seconds to get it done. It does hurt. I can imagine getting an area like your legs done would hurt like crazy. You also have to grow your hair out for a while. It does to have to be a certain length. That's going to be like at least grab like a centimeter or so. Take Maybe. a painkiller before you go. Yeah. And uh, I would say, yeah, I've never done waxing on sensitive areas. That just seems painful. It's so effective and it yeah. lasts so long. It lasts like what, about a month? Three weeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's great for three weeks. Everything's fine for a couple of months. Of course, everyone's rate of hair growth is variable, so mm -hmm. don't listen to this. Um, and I do think there's less like razor burn or anything like yeah. that. So, I mean, I, try it. I thought try about it. getting my legs waxed in summer just so they're always nice. 
But even then, it does grow. Even back. then, it does grow back. And here's the thing: faster than HRT. I haven't brought that up, but HRT, estrogen and, and testosterone blockers, will stop your body hair dead. It's fantastic. It'll thin it out. It's nice yeah. and soft, and it's slow exactly growing. thin it, make it golden. It's wonderful. But we're not talking about HRT. Yes. We're talking about shaving. Next up, laser. Have you done okay, laser? laser? I've never done laser. I've done laser many times for my face. Which is which is hairless for the most part. I need some more laser action. How does it compare to waxing on the pain scale? It's I would think it's actually less than waxing. Okay, but of okay. course, of course, here's the difference. Waxing is one strip and it's good for my brows. Yeah. I've never done my legs, so yeah. laser. I think each each little zap hurts less than a wax strip, but you're but getting hundred like zaps. hundred zaps. Okay. Laser has actually got one huge benefit, which is that it will permanently kill hair. It will permanently thin your hair out. It's not going to always like 100% kill it, but it'll definitely thin it out. And so like I've had eight laser sessions on my face. I probably want to get a couple more, maybe three more before I think about electrolysis. But laser is a little expensive. I would say on average, you're probably going to pay about $100 a session. And a session is... The whole beard for me it's or... like my whole beard okay and that takes probably about 15 20 minutes really yeah really it's quick it's individual it's quick. hairs but it's no like... no no oh. it's areas okay do areas it's poof, 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 yeah poof, poof, like and that. it okay. does okay. uh it does hurt so thank you one thing advanced. the closer the bone is like, like actually no when fat. you get your mustache you have to like Put your tongue up there. Ah. So the closer it is to bone, the more it hurts. Couldn't so. they give you a piece of foam or something? They're like, no, oh, that's not gonna no, matter. Gonna, anyway, honestly, it's just pain. And uh, like tattooing. Yeah, more lastly, bone, more pain. Huh? I didn't get that. Lastly, electrolysis. This is the nuclear option. They say actually insert a needle Scorched and earth. it's it will. You have to you have to go hair by hair, insert a needle, two or three seconds of burn, and then boom, it's done. Mm -hmm. Done. That hair is never coming back. It is going to hair hell. It's heat and electricity, right? Yeah. It's sort of a hybrid. It's the two. There's different methods, but yeah, I think it that's kills most effective. The hair follicle. Yeah, it kills it. It's not like electrolysis where it damages it really, really severely and kills a lot of them, but not quite all of them. It it it's dead. It's dead. Yeah. It's the most expensive and it also hurts the most, although it hurts so much that you actually might get topical. If you do a large amount, you can also... Topical anesthesia. Yeah. Um, lidocaine. Lidocaine, something like that, depending on where you go or how much you get done. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that does actually... You actually reach a threshold, a pain threshold, where it hurts so much you actually get some painkillers. So... It might hurt less. I don't know. But, but if you're into one-stop shopping and you can do the pain and you can do the price, electrolysis is the way to go. It's, Especially it's if you've got that yeah. tough, gnarly hair. If yeah. you've got resistant For hair. MTFs, I would say if you're looking at your beard, do, do a bunch of laser first and then then go to the electrolysis. That's what the people say because it's easier. And it also helps for laser if you are like me, pale skinned with darker hair. Mm -hmm. It will definitely. That's I've got I've got the perfect skin for a uh, laser. It is harder for our friends people of color yeah. or people with light hair uh has something to do with the heat. It, a dark hair absorbs more yeah, heat exactly. and it destroys it more effectively. For yeah. light skinned, dark haired people. Oh, and there's also plucking, which you can just do with tweezers. I don't like it, it's a pain in the ass. So that's one I, hair I don't time. ever do it. Like, yeah. But you yeah, did, did you do that do. at first when you first I did, your I did that. Okay. And it was such a pain in the ass. I hated it. So I went waxing. So yeah. Waxing's good for eyebrows. It's better than threading. She even pointed oh, this out to me because so it is one go. Threading is like work it, work it, pull, work, pull, it, pull, work, pull, it pull, work it, 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 and it takes forever and yeah. you cry. Avoid it if you can. Avoid it if you can. And then the other way to get hair out is to cover the area with peanut butter mm -hmm. and hire tape, a dog. duct tape, a dog, duct tape, a cheese grater to a dog's tongue and they get the dog to lick with a cheese grater. Now we're not going to lie, you're going to bleed. But a lot. It does get a lot. rid of the hair. Yeah. So much. Oh my god. Also, you need that special kind of duct tape that'll actually stick to a dog's tongue. To a dog's tongue. Because it's really hard. To Link get down it below to that brand of duct tape that we'll provide to our 
viewers. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. We don't recommend the dog. Do the dog method. thing. Really, don't, we were don't kidding don't about do that. Don't do the dog. All right.